My books Honest Bonds and Honest Bonds The Fall of Tenebris are available for purchase on Amazon. Also, Manga Writer has written a webcomic series called Shadows. Links to these can be found in the description. gonna financially recover from this. Yes, your eyes did not deceive you. I have bought every single prime drink that is available in the UK as I'm doing this recording, which means there's no lemonade. No, why did I do this? So there's a bit of a history with this. Originally, my brother and I, um, you've probably seen him in a couple of skits, we did a little taste test a couple, a couple months back. Uh, maybe a couple of months? Probably a couple of months back by the time of this video, I can't remember right now. But uh, we tested various drinks. And one of them was Prime, uh, specifically Lemon Lime. And I thought, well, why not do all of them? Because <laughs> it gets a little more complicated. When I saw that Prime can in, in stores, that was the first time it actually appeared in my area, Cornwall. And then I saw there were energy drinks and hydration versions of both. And I quickly understood why. Given that this is made by one of the Paul brothers, Logan Paul and KSI, the majority of their fan base is children. So I thought, well, okay, it makes sense. Legally, in the UK anyway, you have to be over 25 to purchase an energy drink, so kids can't buy them. So, make a hydration version. You know, the kids will have their hydration and the adults will have their energy drinks. But then I noticed a lot of them were the same flavor. So, why not see which works better as a hydration or an energy drink? That's my justification anyway. I was about, what, three flavors in? Then I realized there's so many flavors. And only just today did the last ones arrive. So now I'm doing this recording. <laughs> I have got all of them. I've got Ice Pop, Strawberry Watermelon, Blue Raspberry, Tropical Punch, whatever the fuck that is, Lemon Lime, uh, Mango, Mango Orange, Orange Mango, and Meta Moon. Those two are the only ones that are not hydration and energy drink. Um, both, like there's only one one of each, so that's what I can see anyway. Uh, also, uh, I'm aware there's grape, there's lemonade, and uh, I think KSI released just a new flavor. Uh, the KSI one not available in the UK, same with grape and lemonade yet. Um, I'm also aware of the hydration packs. Uh, I'm, I'm basing this on the Prime website, the official Prime website. They have a UK and US version, and those flavors I mentioned, pff, not on the UK site at all. Uh, same, same with the pouches, so I'm literally going off what is on the America, uh, the British sites, and all of these I've just gotten when I've seen them in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, my local co-op, uh, even my local Premier um, had a had a bloody Meta Moon. So <sighs> I've got no reason to delay this any further. Start with the drinks, and I'm starting with Ice Pop first because I just got this from Amazon, and uh, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> hmm, that's gonna explode any moment now. Might as well get this one open. Now, I'm not really an energy drink person. I say that, and I do have two cans of Monster in the fridge. But thing is, I've had one of those there since 2022. I often have an energy drink as a very last resort if I need to stay awake for a night shift, or, you know, if there's like the Game Awards on and I need to stay awake, or if I need to fix my sleep clock. Other than that, never, have an never really have energy drinks. Monster is the only one I tolerate because, well, you know, it tastes fine, has a fruity flavor that I kind of like. Who knows, maybe this will be the new energy drink I get, but I highly doubt it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crack open both, and I'm going to just see how they compare, really. Uh, before that, actually, I actually wanna, I wanna give compliments to, so I'm not a big Logan Paul fan. You know, the, with everything he's done with the whole crypto scams and stuff like that, and his game, I'm not, I'm, I don't support his work, and, you know, you may think this is me supporting his work, but <laughs> whatever. But I will commend the can's very nice design. I love the design of these cans. They're simple. Logo at the front. You don't need some big stupid idiot's face on it. You know, you don't need some dumbass pretending to drink to say, hey, it's good. You don't need like some, like, you know, Logan Paul approved or KSI approved on the site. No, this is simple. You know, you already bought it. Nutrition info, it's fine. But I'm not a fan of the bottles. It it feels, it looks and it feels a bit cheapy. But then again, everyone has their preference. And as the cans go, I love the design of the cans. Like they have actually nailed the design of those. So 
that's the only comment, that's the only praise I'll give right now before I actually start this. So, without any further ado, let's get this started. And we're starting with Ice Pop because the reasons I gave before. I'm gonna start with hydration first. Who knows, any stuff I like, I'll, I'll just put it back in the fridge. Hmm, smells like an ice pop. Or freeze pop, I don't know. Whatever, whatever you guys call those like cheap flavored fruit ice sticks. That's got a hint of something actually. Oh no, let me. It's not sour, but it's like it wants to be sour. But I can't really see this being an ice pop. But I can't figure out what flavor it is. I'm gonna go again. Interesting. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Hmm. Off to a great start already. Okay, right. So the hydration was okay. Now for the ticking time bomb. <laughs> Look at that, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, the this and this and the uh, strawberry watermelon and drinks were the only two I bought off Amazon, purely because they were on offer. I saw them; they were like two pounds each. Bought them, and I was like, great, I can finally take that off my list. These are the last two I need to get. These two specifically. But the strawberry watermelon is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, can wise. Let me just point it away from me. Okay, all good. You know, it's funny, I haven't actually had enough sleep. So, uh, you know, last night I slept about four hours, so let's be the kick I need to keep me awake. Ugh. Oh God. <laughs> That's difficult to describe, difficult to explain, but the fizz kind of makes that a bit worse. Ugh. Oh, the carbon dioxide just overpowers whatever flavor that was. This, the hydration is actually quite flavorful. It's not, surprisingly enough, it's got enough flavor in it, but the uh, the, the energy drink variant, mm. no, unfortunately, uh, all the caffeine and stuff has just taken all the flavor out of it at all. Um, I say out of ice pop, I definitely prefer the hydration version more. All right, next on the list, we have strawberry watermelon. See, I'm not a liar, strawberry watermelon. Um, strawberry watermelon, interesting flavor combination. Um, I can't say I would have combined the two, but what do I know? At the end of the day, they pick these flavors, so who knows? You know, it, it's funny, I've not really told anyone this, but I have actually wanted to um, make my own soft drink for a while. Um, I've had ideas for various flavors, and <laughs> funny enough, I shit you not, since the release of Honest Bonds, I've had more flavors come to mind like I've sort of created flavors of like Ryu and Ruby's favorite drink. I'll tell you what, uh, Logan, give me a shout. Make, up, make an Honest Bond's Prime drink. <laughs> I don't know, with the rest of this video, he's probably just gonna fucking just chastise me on Twitter or something like that. <laughs> I refuse to call it X. All right, there we go. I'm getting a smell of watermelon, but no strawberry. No. Oh, wow. So, okay, this is an interesting one. So, because they've combined two flavors, there's not enough of each flavor to warrant it being good, if, if that works. I feel like if they just... I feel like if they just made a strawberry one and a watermelon one, then they probably wouldn't find it on its own, but because as it is now, it's kind of hard to get a solid flavor. Yeah, that's just that's just fine. It's not it's not good, but it's not bad. I currently I'm preferring the ice pop over this, but okay. I've got the energy drink to have. All right, energy drink. Oh wow, that's a fizz, isn't it? Fuck no, that actually went on the floor. Oh, no, that's, mm, nope. Oh, God, no, that, that is just, 
That's a Red Bull with a sweetener in it. That, that That's what that is. Yep. Nah. Definitely not. Okay, no. Yep, okay. So far, we're two for two for hydration. Honestly, I think... I think Logan should just stick to the hydration, because so far I'm not impressed with the energy drinks. <laughs> Mind you, I'm only two in on it on both, so... Uh, next, we got Blue Raspberry. Uh, here's an interesting fun fact about Blue Raspberry. I saw this when I was in co-op, and uh, before I got... <laughs> my... <laughs> Sorry, my cat fidget. She's licking all the water off the cans. Why are you doing that? You've got water down there! A whole bowl full. Yeah, when I saw this in co-op, there were uh, there were a few bottles left, and I saw um, two kids grabbing a bottle before me before I even noticed. And then we were in the queue. I shit you not, I saw in I saw them hugging the bottles like it was the greatest achievement they've ever received in my life in their life, or they have just received a teddy bear. They just kind of hug it, and I'm like, really? That's the audience for this shit. But then again, I bought I bought my own. So who am I to judge? Two pounds fifty. This was. Is it worth the two pound fifty? So far, I'm dabbing this. Blue raspberry, though. Of course, over here in the UK, often when you think blue raspberry, you think of sour sweets. So I want a sour drink. Okay. Oh, actually. Not bad. Okay, three sips in and the flavor's just gone for some reason. It's not chewing gum, but I, I can't taste it anymore. First one was actually all right. It's okay, again, it's just okay. I don't know, I, I, I don't know what I expect. Like, I guess because this is such a big deal with the amount of times they're, they're praising this brand all over the place, I guess I'm expecting a lot of flavor, but you know, I compare it to the amount of times I drink Pepsi and I love me some Pepsi. I drink this shit like it's my religion. But this, 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 this has flavor, but then again, does this say like what drinks company produces this? No, it doesn't. It just says that this is made in Amsterdam. I think I got the Dutch to blame for this. Uh, but okay, hydration. Average. Energy drink. <laughs> With the way these ring pools are, you, you think I am just showing off the logo. I, I should have said at the start, under UK regulation laws, I am not sponsored by Prime. I'm not sponsored by the by the Paul Brothers. I'm not sponsored by KSI. I'm not sponsored by any of them. I bought all these drinks with my own money, um, even my unemployment money. None of this is sponsored. All of this is my opinion. So if you think this is just me being a sellout or a shill, Trust me, if I would have sold my soul to Ray's Shadow Legends before I ever sold my soul to, you know, stuff like a prime drink. And I'm already selling my soul to my own book, so. But yeah, not sponsored. I swear, I swear to God, I have to legally state if I am, any, because I'm a British citizen, so. But anyway. Oh, I actually can't get into this. Cheers. Hmm. Honest God, they, they taste the same. They taste the exact same. Shit you not, and that's very disappointing. Frankly, I wonder why he I wonder why he makes energy drinks out of these. He could have made a killing just making these as soft drinks. And why go for energy drink? Like, I know us gamers, we love our energy drinks with, you know, G Fuel and Monster and stuff like that, but you know, soft drinks are still a good way to go about it. Because even with soft drinks, you get you can have both children and adults buy the product. You know, it's not like Pepsi is just for kids or Fanta is just for adults. They're soft drinks. Anyone can get them. Why result to energy drinks and hydration? Like, are you just doubling your profits? Well, even then, you're only doubling one audience because the adults can buy both the energy, the energy, and the hydration, and only the kids can buy the hydration. I don't. I'm probably just talking out my ass at this, right? I don't know business. I'm not exactly, you know, a business expert. But nonetheless, we got Tropical Punch. So this is gonna be more fruity than the fruits we've already had. 
So it's just a fruity drink, really. Tropical punch. Let's go. That was a bit of a pop. Ooh, that's a kick. Okay, that this has actually got flavor. That's really mmm. It's like you drink, and then once you swallow it, it's like, whew, there's another bit of... I can't put my finger on the flavor, though. I like it. I, I like it. I actually like it. I like this one. Mm. Ooh. That's got a good cake. That's actually all right. All right, Tropical Punch. You sold me on that one. I actually like this one. Save that for later, actually. There you go. Uh, now, the energy variant. God, these cans are just so... They've been in the fridge for like weeks and months on end. Oh, blimey. You alright? You want... You want a sip? Yeah? You're lucky, you're so cute. Why are you so adorable? No? 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 Uh, okay. Rejected by my own cat. The hog! Okay, nah, okay, nah, no, nah, no, nah, nah, I have another sip of that. That is terrible, that's terrible. That is the worst energy drink yet. Immediately, okay. That does not work with the caffeine in that energy drink. But yeah, that's a lot of caffeine, and that caffeine does not work with that tropical punch. Do not like that one at all. That is terrible. <sighs> but then again, that could just be because I don't like energy drinks. If I actually liked a can of Red Bull, maybe I would enjoy these, but... And then again, I'm not really the target audience, am I? Maybe if I like Logan Paul, I'd probably enjoy the drinks, but that's my bias speaking. Uh, anyway, lemon lime. Um, basically, a Sprite. Um, or <laughs> Sprite before and after they put in the CO2. <laughs> basically, no. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how the Sprite, uh, we'll see how the sprite is. Uh, although, I guess 7-Up would be accurate. I don't know, shut up, stop talking. Oh. oh, interesting. So I just noticed, I uh, don't know if anyone actually cares about this. So this one states it has no artificial flavours or colours. Um, strawberry watermelon, blue raspberry and tropical punch all state they just have no artificial flavours. Uh, Ice Pop just says flavors. So this one, unsurprisingly, is artificial. Those three are artificial coloring. So if you care about that stuff, maybe keep that in mind. This one, au naturel, apparently. And of course, Ice Pop would be artificial because well, how do you get a natural Ice Pop? That's artificial anyway. Okay, as weird as this sounds, I've drunk my fair share of sprites and stuff. I feel this would be better with the fizz. As it stands, it is fine. It's completely fine. I second favorite, actually. Um, it's just fine. Not good, not bad, just fine. But a higher preference. Maybe I'll save it for later, who knows. Now, let's see if my theory proves right. Is it better with the, um, with the, with, with the fizz? Who knows? I just wanted to see if they say, if they say anything about artificial colors or flavors. No, they all just say flavor. Ooh, that's a good crack open, that is. That's just like lemonade. Like, um, the, the the UK equivalent to lemonade. Because I believe in America, you have a different definition of lemonade. Our lemonade is like fizzy lemon. Like, you know, get some lemon juice, put some um, sparkling water in it, and you basically have lemonade. But yeah, this tastes like lemonade. 
Not as good as Schweppes. Like, Schweppes make some of the best lemonade out there, but this is that's completely fine, actually. I still prefer a Sprite, but that's honestly the best one. That's the best energy drink so far. That's perfect. That, that, that's completely fine. I, I might finish that, actually, because it's, it's a can. I've got to finish it, but... Yeah, I've got no problems with that at all. So, we've got two more flavours left. They're oddball ones. Because they don't have an energy drink variant. I have no idea what the fuck Metamoon is, so I'm going to save it for later. And I'm going to go right to the orange mango. Now, I don't like mangoes. I've had mangoes, I've had Pepsi mango, they taste terrible. But I like oranges, so who knows. I had a whole Terry's chocolate orange earlier, so you know I'm eating safely. <laughs> I didn't even say that with a straight face. Mm. Like, I just, I got a great taste of orange, then the mango kicked in and my body went, no. Let's try that again. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, double the mango. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, I can't tell if that's better or worse than the tropical part. <laughs> okay, no, it's worse. It's worse. Fuck mango. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Aha! <laughs> I'm sure that's a fine drink, but I, I ain't having another sip of that. Oh god, that was terrible. Oh god, I can still taste the mango. My body just wanted to be sick. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I keep water in the fridge. What about it? I just refill the bottle. Alright, so that was a fucking... Jesus Christ, that was... Awful. So, Metamoon. Either this is sponsored by Facebook, or he's um, testing out some new cryptocurrency called Metamoon. Who knows? I don't really invest in NFTs or any crypto, so... Who knows? Anyway, you think I might take a sip or just drain me of my crypto wallet? It's all cloudy in there. It's like a fog. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's like, did I just drink some fucking cow pole? What the hell? Honest to God, that tastes like fucking medicine. What the, f genuinely? <laughs> Tastes no different than a fucking spoonful of this shit. What is that flavor? Yeah, no, yeah, I made a joke earlier about crypto scam. That is a bloody scam of my taste buds. Fucking hell. Can we see the apology on that? One million pound refund? Not a fucking enough. What is in this? Mmm. Oh god, the aftertaste. Jesus fuck, that's absolutely atrocious. Candy fruit flavored drink. I just, it just said it says candy fruit flavored drink. What sweets did they grab? The fucking expired Willie's pick and mix they found in a warehouse. That is honestly the worst goddamn flavor I've ever had. I, I rank it below the mango, the orange mango. So there you go. Prime drinks. I, I mean, at the end of the day, this the flavors aren't the best, but. It's far more harmless than what than the other controversies that have been going around Logan Paul. Are they worth the price? Because over here in the UK, they retail, the recommended retail price is £2.50. You get, you know, obviously scammers and um, scalpers who just increase the fucking price for you know, stupid reasons because there's such high demand. But two fifty, no. If maybe two pounds is kind of pushing it. One pound fifty, one pound seventy-five, about the average price of a standard energy drink or um, you know soft drinks bottle. Yeah, I, I'd say it's worth those price, uh, those prices. But of course, they have to inflate those because YouTubers behind it. I don't know. I, I guess I guess like they have to increase it because of factory demands. You know, it's probably more expensive than what Pepsi and Coke are able to do, but. <sighs> they're harmless. You know, they're just flavoured drinks. The energy drinks, 
I, I have heard somewhere that uh, apparently they're being investigated because they have a bit too much caffeine. And also, what I've noticed is that the side of the cans in the American um, release, they specifically mention electrolytes which over here they do not. And I think you are not allowed to legally say they are electrolytes because apparently electrolytes aren't a thing. That's up with my basic, basic research on the British health and safety standards. Oh, all I know is that, you know, they had to get rid of it for a different can. So if you see one of these, you got yourself a British can. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy American cans and British cans and see if there is a difference. I highly doubt it. There you go, prime drinks. If they release more, if they release enough, and maybe they're willing to send me some more, Maybe I'll give it another shot, but uh, you know, I'll wait until that context, see if we get a zingy cola flavor. <laughs> but that's all we got, that's all I gotta say, really. Other than that, subscribe, see you later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sergeant Major Mario saying, cheers. So, uh, end of the video, here's the thing that, I, um, that I've um, been doing since the start of September. I got a big empty can of liquid death here. Now it's not a change jar, it's a little experiment I've been doing actually. See, whenever I finish a can, I always pull the ring pulls off. And only in the start of September, I've been putting all my ring pulls in the can. I have at least one drink a day. At least one can of Pepsi Max a day. It's very unhealthy, I'm aware. But a part of me got curious to see how many ring pulls it takes to fill a can of this size. So I've jotted it down. Uh, this, you know, September is the start, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. I'll keep, uh, I'll, you know, if if I remember to do it, I'm sure to tell Twitter about what the progress is. So you know, don't know why I'm telling you this. Well, why, why did I bother adding this in the video? Play E 